The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, he is one half of the world tag team champions, Chris Jericho. This guy's hot, red hot, and he claims to be the king of the world. And his tag team partner, Christian, did not fare very well earlier tonight against RVD, who will be in the elimination chamber at Survivor Series along with Jericho. his tag team partner from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 272 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, Triple H. Here comes Jericho's tag team partner, and these two guys do not get along. And of course, he's being accompanied by his mentor, the 16-time world champion, the nature boy, Ric Flair. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 256 pounds, Booker T. Booker T is one of the most decorated tag team competitors of all time and a former five-time WCW champion. Yeah, but can he win the big one? Can he win inside the Elimination Chamber? That's the question. Introducing his tag team partner, weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane! You can bet Kane has his sights set on decimating Triple H here tonight. I can't believe Kane would come out here with a big fireball and explosion. You'd think he would have learned as a kid that you don't play with matches.
I must admit, it's a little odd to look at these guys as partners here tonight, knowing that in the Elimination Chamber, they are all going to be against each other. Well, of course, add Rob Van Dam and Shawn Michaels to the mix. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. It'll be every man for himself, King, and each and every one of them has one goal in mind, to be the World Heavyweight Champion. Tonight, Chris Jericho and Ric Flair on the same side. But it was just a few months ago that the Nature Boy made Y2J tap out to the figure four at SummerSlam. And of course, SummerSlam was the site of Shawn Michaels' first match in four years when he took on Triple H in an unsanctioned street fight. It was a brutal battle, King, but in the end, it was Shawn Michaels walking away with the victory. Actually, oh, Michaels didn't walk away at all. He was stretchered out thanks to Triple H's post-match attack and his trusty sledgehammer. And he reversed it! Good move there! Now there's no breathing room here for Booker T. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. Oh, mama! No, not again! He's putting those educated feet to good use. Triple H has really gained some ground here with his fantastic offense. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Monday Night Raw live from Boston, Massachusetts. And the last time we were here in Beantown was for the 4th of July edition of SmackDown. Boy, were there ever fireworks on that night? That was the night we crowned new World Tag Team Champions when Edge and his childhood hero Hulk Hogan defeated Billy and Chuck. We also saw one of the competitors in this match, Chris Jericho, beat John Cena in singles competition. Yeah, I think that was Cena's second match of his WWE career. He may have lost, but I expected big things out of that kid. You know, Booker T hasn't gotten the opportunity that many feel he deserves to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, he'll have a huge opportunity inside the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series. And you can bet he wants to build momentum heading into Survivor Series. He can do just that right here tonight if he can fend off Triple H and Chris Jericho. You know, not only is Chris Jericho one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but he's also a huge rock star. Well, he says he is. Some people would actually say he's an ass clown. What? <laughs> Now, why would you say that, Cole? You're the one acting like an ass clown. We don't know exactly what to expect when we see the Elimination Chamber unveiled at Survivor Series, but we do know that it will combine elements of War Games, the Royal Rumble, and Survivor Series. And add to that the importance of the World Heavyweight Championship. Live for one, cannot wait for Survivor Series. take its toll. Oh, this is dangerous right here. And once again, it's Booker T with the advantage. Work is being put in by Booker T. Oh, man. Booker T and Chris Jericho have been developing quite the rivalry the past couple of weeks. I remember so vividly in Las Vegas after Booker T won a steel cage match, he had his head busted open at the hands of Chris Jericho. Oh, I remember Vegas, all right. I'm sure you do, King. Did you get your ticket punched? Well, I did find out what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. Scratch that. It's a reversal by Booker. Yeah, nice work by the crafty veteran Booker T. some reversal by Booker T. You know, Cole, the more I think about it, the more I like Chris Jericho's chances at Survivor Series. When the title's on the line, Y2J is at his best. And this is the guy who beat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin on the same night. It was December of last year at Vengeance. Jericho put an astonishing maneuver by Booker T. 
When are you people going to learn to get over stuff? I mean, Triple H does one little thing to Shawn Michaels, and he can't get over. And then Triple H makes one funny little video about Kane, and now Kane's all upset. You thought that was funny, King? Yeah. That was anything but funny. Oh, come on. What about that video of Triple H's last week? I bet you thought that was hilarious. Doing whatever it takes to win. Oh, he got him! Tremendous action in this match. You know, I'd like to take this moment to thank Book T for taking his recent Falls Count Anywhere match on Raw into the Divas dressing room. We really don't get that kind of access enough. Once again, King, your mind's in the gutter. What? Instead of concentrating on the true story, which is Big Show getting the win in the Falls Count Anywhere match, thanks to Chris Jericho interfering and hitting Booker T with a steel chair. Hey, it was a beautiful thing. I mean, the match, I mean. It was a beautiful match. Triple H says he's that damn good to win the Elimination Chamber match. And I don't disagree. And that was a huge counter. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. His partner doesn't have much left, and he might need to do this one on his own. Let's not forget Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship on September 2nd. Oh, I'm so sick of you throwing that in Triple H's face. He's defended it numerous times since then. He's beaten everybody in WWE. Actually, that's not true, Ken. There's a few left. And if you eliminate Ric Flair in a sledgehammer, Triple H wouldn't even be champion today. What? Looks like somebody wants back in this match. Booker T with a great offensive show. He saw that one coming. Great move. Man, Triple H, what offense. Booker T with a slick reversal. What a counter! Knocked down! What a shot! Ooh. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. Here's a cover. One. Oh man, what an air fall that was. Show for Triple H. 
Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on Triple H and all Booker T. Booker T's going to win.